trap. I get to show people some calls like. Okay, well, if I get any more calls, I will be seeking legal advice. I'm just a little scared, anxious, and overwhelmed. Back in 2022, I began feeling really insecure about my life and the way things were going. I can't stay here in LA where all my family's at and where I have a place to stay, but I also can't stay in Utah because I genuinely have no place to stay there. I felt this loss of control, like I was watching my life unfold without my consent. In order to take back some of this control, I decided to set some goals for 2023. Goal number one, to become a better, more organized, efficient father slash man. Goal three for 2023, which is to stay in shape. Sixth and final goal for 2023. One of which was a seemingly modest one. I have to at least sell one house, make one sale, or else I'm not an agent. I'm just a man with a real estate license. <laughs> On January 1st, 2023, I enrolled and began my online course. Welcome to Utah Real Estate School PSD. Three months later, I finally finished, and it was time for me to take my final exam. March 24th, 2023. Uh, I'm extremely anxious, also extremely excited though. Can't wait, we got this team. We got this. We got this. I hope we got this. Just as I had been warned, this test was so hard and I swore I failed it. But by some miracle, I passed! Look at this! <laughs> I immediately got to work and scheduled tons of interviews with every single brokerage near me. Got a phone interview today in three minutes. I've got another interview here at Starbucks today. These interviews? I mean, they went well. Nothing in particular excited me about any brokerage or team. I wanna explore my options, really learn as much as I can about brokerages and how they work before I commit to anything. Until I met a man named Justin Nelson. Hi everyone, Justin Nelson. I am the leader of the Utah Life Real Estate Group. Justin and Utah Life Real Estate Group were different. They were different because they weren't just gonna teach me what it takes to be a good agent. They were gonna teach me the fundamentals of success to improve all aspects of my life, including real estate. If you want to make more money than you've ever made in your entire life, start breaking through fear and work on your self image and your identity in the way that you see yourself. Now, if you've been following my journey, you'll know that at this time I was deeply struggling with my mental health and self confidence. So when I heard Justin speak. So if you want to bring back a quality of life and a quality of business, this is your fourth quarter. This is your worthy challenge. This is your time in life to step up and come out the other side. But if you have to do it anyways, why not do it with a smile? I immediately knew that these were not only the people that I wanted to work for, but that I had to work for. And that was different. How did I look? Ridiculous? Bob, um, I'm gonna sell a fucking house. <laughs> Today's my first day at my new job. <laughs> From day one, we began training our mindset for success and learning the art of sales. Sell me this pen. Well, how long have you been in the market for a pen? Not long, to be honest. Not long? <laughs> we were also making real cold calls to clients, practicing the skills we had learned that same day. Hey Victor, this is Oscar over at Utah Life Real Estate Group. How are you doing today? And these calls were brutal. Hey Curtis, this is Oscar Morales with the Utah Life Real Estate Group. The reason for my call- Oh no, 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 please, please, all your words just keep calling me. Please take me off your list. Oh. All right, I just had a quick question though. I noticed you were checking out some homes on one of my websites a while. No, 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 no. I noticed that you were checking out some homes on, I believe no, it was- No, sorry, I'm not interested. 
Okay, well, if I get any more calls, I will be seeking legal advice. Do you understand that? Some shitty documents, I'm sure I've seen a hundred other times for some other agents, then uh, I guess it could be worth it, but again, I'm super hesitant. And finally, when I did have somebody who may have been interested in buying or selling real estate, and if there's anything I can do to help you in the future, please uh, feel free to reach out, and I'd love to be a... My lack of experience and confidence would scare them away. By this point, my entire day revolved around real estate. 5 a.m. waking up, 5.30 to 6.30, hitting the gym while studying. 8 to 4, team training. 4 to 6, prospecting. And then from 7 to 9, I was either studying or role playing to better my skill set. Damn it, I fumbled so many times there. I asked weak questions like... All this hard work did pay off because on May 30th, 2023, I was onboarded onto the team and officially a real agent. Yes. I'm a real agent now. I get to show people some real estate. Dress for success, baby. Unfortunately, this excitement wouldn't last long. In 2024, only about 13% of the population is planning on buying a new home. Now in real estate, 82% of all transactions happen through repeat and referral business, meaning that by default, 82% of all people will work with someone who they've either worked with in the past or were recommended by a family member or friend who has worked with them in the past. So if we do the math, I am competing with thousands of other agents for 3% of the population. Of this 3%, how many of those people are willing to trust a new agent like myself to represent them? Maybe around 22%. This means that for every single person I talk to, I would have a less than 1% chance at them becoming my client. That task sounds insanely daunting. So what did I do? I revolved my entire life around prospecting and finding my first client. Time is money, we gotta hustle. So we're out here, going out to meet this guy. What's up? Hi, my name is Oscar Morales, I'm a local realtor here. Hey Cody, this is Oscar Morales from Utah Life Real Estate Group. The first lead source I focused on was going through my company's database and calling anybody who had typed in their information over the last 12 years, looking to see if they were wanting to buy or sell a house. Hey Jeff, this is Oscar Morales. Hey Cody, this is Oscar Morales. Hey Cynthia, this is Oscar Morales of the Utah Life Real Estate Group. But I was exceptionally bad over the phone and continuously got crushed. And I was just curious, are you looking online for fun or are you looking to make the move sometime soon? No, thank you. No, no, no thank you? It's uh, I, you were checking out some homes on one of my websites. My second lead source was door knocking, and not only was I just as bad at this, but the face-to-face -face rejection stung so much worse. Read the sign, buddy. Thank uh, you. I, I apologize. <laughs> not to mention, I could physically see people preparing to avoid me. It was so sad, and it hurt me so badly, but I continued. What? My third lead source involved setting up open houses for other agents, and this was the most time intensive by far. Okay, open house. Oh, I've been setting up signs all over the neighborhood. Actually, more like all over the city. <laughs> See, I would door knock an entire neighborhood the night before to spread the word. And then the following morning, I would strategically set up signs to guide traffic to the open house. I would then once again re-door knock the entire neighborhood to remind them until it was time for me to host the open house. During the event, I would get around 10 to 20 potential buyers in the home, but 99% of them were already being represented by another agent. Out of the three open houses that I did during this time, I only had one potential client who I may have had the opportunity to work with, but he ended up ghosting me. Almost 30 hours worth of work just to have that one dude ignore my phone calls twice a day for 21 days. <laughs> At 
this point, I kept feeling like everything I was doing was a waste of time and I was severely doubting whether I had what it takes to make it in this industry. But I'd be lying if I said I wasn't overwhelmed. Doubt and fear starting to set in. I don't know if I have what it takes to be a top producing agent. I'm just a little scared, anxious, and overwhelmed. To make matters worse, I went from seeing my little ones every other week to now only one or two days per week because I was constantly working. I truthfully miss them so much that even when they're gone, I still sleep here because it provides that feeling of um, being with them. <laughs> I was sacrificing precious time with my little ones for a dream that seemed to be slipping further and further away. I am so mad, you guys. So mad. Every action I've taken and action I didn't take has led me to this moment. And the reason why that pisses me off is because I'm disappointed in myself. The person I've been. On top of all this, I was deeply struggling with my mental health. All these emotions just compounded on top of each other and it led me to have the worst breakdown I've ever experienced. I was at rock bottom. Thankfully during this time, I had a better mentor than I deserved by my side, Robbie Peters. What's up, baby? What up, dude? Here. Who it is? For those of you who don't know, actually nobody knows. This is my mentor, Robbie. <laughs> what up, dude? My name is Robbie Peters, and I'm the director of training for the Utah Life Real Estate. This man was not only helping me with everything real estate related, he was also helping me do a lot of inner work. That's how my emotional state feels. <laughs> and helping me overcome my massive self-doubt limiting beliefs and negative talk that was constantly putting me down. Sure. You're a legend, don't forget it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Robbie. Killing it. He's lying. I've been cheeks, but I'm learning. <laughs> all it takes, all it takes is keeping your word. As oh, long as you keep yeah. your word, you're good. He also did his best to motivate me. He dragged me out here. But at least you got to see this thing. And had this quote that he consistently repeated. Work always works, so let's just take time. So I kept working. I kept making phone calls. I kept knocking on doors. I kept following his advice. And he was right. Eventually, the results did come. All right, so I just got my first uh, uh, buyer who called me. And so literally packing up all the kids right now, um, getting them ready to go to mommy's. One day I got a random call from a prospect telling me that he found a house and he had to go see it immediately. I'm gonna try to find out as much info as I can on this listing right here to hopefully have just some more information for my buyer and maybe give him some insider knowledge that other people don't know and just some info that maybe he's not on, on the MLS. We'll see how this goes. This was my first time meeting a client and it went amazing. I showed him the home and then he wanted to put an offer on it so I went through all the legal paperwork with him signed him as my client, and we were all so excited. I couldn't believe it. I finally had my first client. I got my first client. Yes. 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 Unfortunately, this wouldn't lead anywhere because my buyer couldn't qualify for the home at that particular time. And although this news was very disappointing to the both of us, I had finally had a taste of the results. A small, tiny crumb of the success that I so desperately wanted. It ended up feeling this massive hunger inside me that just made me want more. And oh boy, did I get it. All of a sudden I had clients calling me left and right. Who wanted to start going to look at home. So yeah, just if you see any homes you like, send them to me and I'll start getting them scheduled for Thursday. The sooner the better. Okay. Perfect. See, I'm just going to look at some homes. Oh my god. I began getting busier and busier, showing more and more homes to people. Oh wow. Until at last, I had my first under contract 
on June 21st, 2023. We're under contract. Oh my God. Wow. Robbie was right. The work had been working and the results were finally showing up. Oh, I feel so proud right now. I never, dude, this was one of my goals for 2023. By June, I had four more homes in the process of being sold. Four. I always dreamed of this moment, but I just couldn't imagine myself doing it. I was on a roll, and for the first time in a long time, those self-defeating voices in my head were beginning to quiet down. Oh, I got this. I got it. I was beginning to feel less insecure and more like myself again. Here we go. Man, that looked good. <laughs> Until at last, all my work had paid off and I had my first closing on July 20th, 2023. Marcella, you did it. Yes, you are. Congratulations. I had accomplished a dream. Today was proof that if you just keep going, just one foot in front of the other, even if you have absolutely no idea what you are doing, you will figure it out along the way. The very next day, July 21st, I got my second closing. Got another closing today. Four days later, got my third closing. Most, most agents out here only do three to four deals a year. That's in my first 60 days, guys. I'm so proud. And in a little over a month, by August 30th, 2023, I had helped four people buy their new home. That's 4X the goal I had even set myself. I have to at least sell one house. I was so proud and felt so accomplished. I, <laughs> I still am. I'm so proud. I mean, I did it. I'm a professional real estate agent. There's no doubts about it. I'm an agent. <laughs> The work had worked. I had the results. But better yet, I had my confidence back. I had myself back. I had my life back.